Hi everyone and welcome to Screams After Midnight and it is the season to be spooky because it's October and as part of our October thorn we're doing a bunch of extra episodes and this episode is going to all be about friend request. Mm. Yeah. I'm Peter and someone <laughs> who accepted my friend request once upon a time is uh, Tim Vergulish. <sighs> I regretted it every... <laughs> Every day since. <laughs> oh dear, yeah. So we, we talk about horror movies and, you know, like I say, it's October, done a lot of episodes, a lot of bonus episodes, and in this one we're going to talk about Friend Quest, which came out earlier this year. It's a film where I saw the trailer and went, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> it looked bad. But we like, we like to be thorough on this show, we like to sample a nice variety of uh, the horror genre. And we thought we'd give it a give it a go, especially since it's worth mentioning. Everyone's going to compare this to Unfriended. Unfriended. It's a really okay. obvious comparison to make. And Unfriended was a movie that I went into into thinking this is probably going to be terrible. And in actual mm-hmm. fact, it ended up being pleasantly surprising. Like it was, mm-hmm. it was good. Like it was a couple of little problems, but for the most part, it had a very yeah. smart script where you learn more about the characters as you went. It used the sort of stuff that we use on our computers to build story and like reveal things about the characters. It actually was a pretty good idea that was great for a one-time thing. It was, you know, I don't want mm-hmm. a sequel, I don't want a remake, or I don't want other, you know, imitators doing the same thing. Yes. Which this isn't quite. I wouldn't quite say this is an imitator. I, I think this is more. That this is there, a similar idea, where. It, I think on a very very base level, you like you can make the comparison that they're you know both horror movies trying to use like um, modern technology, oh, yeah, uh, specifically yeah, yeah. social media stuff as its well, whatever um, instigator or something. Oh yeah, ab- but, absolutely. Yeah, that that is definitely yeah. there. But is that any different than two horror movies where right. they use like, vampires uh, or you know whatever? Like yeah, you know you, you could argue that that's not a big deal. It can, I mean, yeah. it feels a lot more stupid, but sure. <laughs> Whatever. The problem is, though, is that I, lo- I look at Unfriended and I see, oh, this is kind of inventive. They're doing what they can purely from the, the screen of mm-hmm. this computer. With this, I see a glossy, soulless, um, you know, mainstream Hollywood version of this. And, yeah. oh my God, this movie is terrible. It is hot garbage. And I we're going to sit and talk about it. <laughs> Um, we're going to probably just go full spoilers. I don't think we're going to bother um, masking any of this because honestly, yeah. you shouldn't see this movie. It is terrible. Mm-hmm. So just watch us discuss it, make fun of it, mm-hmm. and uh, you know maybe you'll you'll realize that you're you're making valuable use of your time, spending half an hour mm-hmm. watching us talk about it, than spending ninety minutes, which feels like mm-hmm. four hours, watching yeah. this trek. So. <laughs> Yeah, so the the plot well it opens with the the announcement that a girl has committed suicide. A girl named uh, Marina has committed suicide. Mm-hmm. But we then cut to two weeks previous. Right? Mm-hmm. We cut to two weeks previous and we're introduced to Laura, who's our main character, in this is my first problem with the movie. Mm-hmm. This girl Laura, we we get a montage showing how friendly she is she is like this perfect girl she's attractive she has like a thousand friends on facebook and we know this because mm-hmm. there's, there's this like it's almost like if you've ever seen the tv show sherlock where the the, the, the texts and the the facebook posts come up on the screen and mm-hmm. we see her like our f- friend counter you know climbing yeah. into the 900s and whatever and you know, this is all happening. But we get this ridiculous montage set to piano music where she has this perfect <laughs> life with her perfect boyfriend where they have perfect moments. And it just, mm-hmm. all of it felt, it felt like a, an ad for like like a getaway or something. <laughs> <laughs> like it yeah. was the most ridiculous over the top. And she's not a character. She's a, like, the ideal college girl. That's what she is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I think you hit it on the head earlier when you were talking about how everything is just kind of this shiny, glossed over Hollywood thing. Like the the biggest feeling I get from this movie is that it's just generic. It's just that hmm, you know, very, very generic. mainstream, generic kind of like style and look to it that you see. 
and it, in if, horror movies. And along with that, it falls into a lot of the generic mainstream horror tropes that yeah we I like to you know complain about. Uh, you know, if you mm-hmm. check out our episodes on "Don't Breathe" and "Lights Out." We spoke extensively in those two episodes about rules. Rules are very important in supernatural elements in like horror movies because if it feels like the characters like have no chance, like as long as we understand the rules as the audience, so that we know mm-hmm. what the rules are, so we understand if they have a chance of getting things out, out alive and stuff. But sometimes in supernatural movies where things just happen, like you know whatever the writer wants, like they they just say, "Oh, yeah. this this happens because it's kind of spooky," but like it doesn't really add up. Um, and of course, added to this is the the really mediocre direction where it feels like everything, <laughs> everything's too quick. It feels too far paced. Like these characters start like, like worrying about a ghost or whatever, or, or a demon <laughs> or whatever. Like you know, like they start worrying about this far too quickly for my liking. Um, mm-hmm. not, none of it feels natural. It speeds through the whole plot while feeling like it goes on forever. And I think that's, I think it actually is what causes that problem. Is because it's speeding through scenes so quick, but it's yeah. it's not actually letting us like take any of it in. You get kind of exhausted, and it feels longer than yeah. it actually is. It's a really weird thing where it, it double backs on itself and feels twice as long, despite the fact that it's going quick. It's, it's odd. Yeah, um, that, no, I'm I'm glad you brought it up because uh, this movie, yeah, it, it must have just been like ninety minutes, right? Yeah, it's like, it's like ninety minutes but tops. Yeah. It, feels so much longer i remember at one point uh we were watching it and um not you and me but uh me and my girlfriend and then uh at one point i'm glad we you, paused it I'm, I'm glad you felt the need to point that out I, just 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 in case want, they want they yeah. think that we watch movies together <laughs> Timmy, because god forbid I, I did not want that getting out there uh, but, uh yeah at one point we paused it and you know, it, it seemed like that had to, the movie must be at least half hour. Like it has to had to have been like forty five minutes, right? And I looked at it; it was only like twenty five minutes had gone by. I was like, "How is that possible?" <laughs> and and I think it was kind of weird, like the way you said, like, "Yeah, it starts off with them in the classroom being notified of this girl's suicide, then it cuts to two weeks later." But then it never really seemed like there was a clear, defining like, "Okay, now we're back in the present." Like at one point, I just kind of assumed that they were like well, back in the present you, now you, you know they're back in the present because we get the scene again with the, the, the lecture you know announcing yeah. the death and then at that point though i was like oh you know what i completely forgot <laughs> that we were like in the past uh, which you know f- fair enough yeah okay yeah. I, I don't know why you did that um especially since it really jars with the, like i said there's this like really cheery montage showing how perfect a girl it this this yeah. girl is and the music that plays plays again during her birthday a little bit later on and Everything is here to tell you how much of a nice life she has, and it really just jars because you, you, you've heard about this suicide, and then it cuts to two yeah. weeks before, and it's like happy montage, you know. This is you know, yeah. friendly family <laughs> affair with all this stuff, and the life is perfect, and it it just it broke the tone that they just set up. Like if you wanted to do this, you start with this and then get sinister, but yeah. starting with like a really depressing like thing like that or a really dark <laughs> thing like that and then cutting to this is just really weird and it didn't fit mm-hmm. so no. the plot of the movie of course is that she uh like there's this creepy girl named marina who's the one who commits suicide and we mm-hmm. see how she like just sits on her own with a hoodie up and she's you know staring at people but she happens mm-hmm. to smile at the uh at laura at one point laura. the main character mm-hmm. And Laura later on gets a friend request on Facebook. And now, we've already seen like two scenes of her looking at her Facebook. You know, mm-hmm. they joke that um, she's taking psychology and they're studying like obsessions and like addiction oh, yeah. to, you know, the internet and stuff. And they joke <sighs> that she's like her own subject and, you know, ha ha ha. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, when Pete, uh, when they look at her Facebook uh, profile mm-hmm. and it has all those like, weird dreamy images uh, we're talking about uh, marina here this is marina's Mar- facebook profile right um i hope that you really enjoyed those images because you're going to see a lot of it like they always bring up her page but it's always like they look at the same two posts like throughout the whole movie and then i th- I like at some point they finally decide to go further and then they start seeing this really freaky stuff of like you know the a pregnant woman with symbols and stuff but at that point i'm like 
you never like bothered to go like down yeah. more than three that's, posts. <laughs> that's was that's was the problem I had as well. Is they scrolled down. They, it was more than three posts. To, to be completely fair to the movie, it, they scroll down to the point where it has to load more. You know, like that thing when you're scrolling down someone's Facebook wall, yeah. and it gets to that point where it has the little circle, and you have to wait a second, then it gives you the next batch. Yeah. They never went past that point, <laughs> and they kept looking at our page over and over again, uh. <laughs> and. Not only, like, I, I get that you would stop if you're just glancing at her page to see what she's like, yeah. right, like they do at the start, but they get to the point where, like, they are researching, like, all sorts of weird stuff to, like, try and, like, solve what's going on, and they still never go past that point. It's not until, like, you know, a good hour into the movie where someone goes, well, let's keep scrolling. Oh, my God, there's, like, proper satanic stuff on here. Oh, my God. Like, oh. That's not even the biggest problem I have with the, 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 the plot in this movie, by the way. There's, there's, there's other things yeah. that I'm about to bring up. Yeah, it just it just made me laugh. Like, every time they, they go back to the page, I'm like, again, like, the yeah. same, like, three, four pictures. <laughs> but again, like, so she looks at the, the Facebook profile and see mm-hmm. what she's like. So she's that she has zero friends. And like, oh, that's kind of sad and a shame. Or maybe she just moved here. She doesn't have, or she just started the profile. You know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You know, the excuses that mm-hmm. you may have. And she says, oh, this art's kind of cool. She's kind of talented. This is not bad. Mm. Uh, I'll give her a, f- you know, I'll say yes. Right? Friend accepted. I mean, she has 900 friends. Obviously, she isn't that selective, right? Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. sure, you're, there's being popular, but it's just a case of, oh, you're, you're, a good, you know, at 800 out of 900 are probably just like casual acquaintances that she's met at some point. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Fair enough. And we see her talking to Marina and they have a nice little chat, and she's kind of nice to her, and she is, like, she's she's perfectly pleasant. Like, this girl has zero flaws. It is actually kind of insane. That's just kind of the problem with the character, <laughs> is that Laura yeah. has zero flaws. And she's yeah. perfectly nice to her, and Marina's like, oh yeah, okay, uh, bye Laura, and she seems really excited. And then we get the yeah. plot of, like, she starts, like, messenger, messaging her on Facebook constantly, you know, that kind of person who, when they don't get a reply, keeps messaging as if they are getting replies, and yeah. You know, all that kind of thing. And we get that it's becoming she's a She's very, like... Yeah, she's very frustrating, like... You know, I'm sure there are, you know, people that are actually like this, but... Uh, in real life, but it, it seemed... I don't know, just so, like... Unbelievable and over the top that she was like... Like, oh, we're friends now? Oh, oh we're friends, so we're gonna hang out. Because we're friends, right? You're you're having a party for your friends, and, and oh, we're I, friends and stuff. Again, it, it like, felt like a generic Hollywood character. Like, yeah. they, they just picked out a hat, like, this is this person who does this, without feeling ever feeling any remotely believable. Um, yeah. and it like, cu- there, there could have been a more authentic way to kind of show that, like, clinginess and stuff, instead of just, like, instantly going from, like, you know, 1 to 100, you know? Yeah, it it uh, maybe have been better had she successfully messaged her once, you know, like and it and she responded yeah. and it was normal and then it, it started to escalate. That'd have been a bit, bit better. But she immediately yeah. went to eleven. It was really weird. Mm-hmm. And she so so Laura's birthday's coming up and mm-hmm. <laughs> uh she, you know, Marina's basically invited herself to her birthday and mm-hmm. she, or I was like, oh no, it's just going to be me and the boyfriend. And she, she uses this yeah. as a lie to get out of it and say, no, you can't come. Mm-hmm. This is my first giant problem with the movie, right? <laughs> yeah. She lies to this girl who she's already seen. Like, not only is she messaging her, she's went back to mm-hmm. every post she's ever made and liked it, right? <laughs> yeah. She's also took a photo of Laura that's on Facebook and photoshopped <laughs> herself into it and then posted it on yeah. Facebook. Right, this yeah. girl clearly looks at her Facebook like a hawk. She looks through yeah. this her girl, this Laura's Facebook, all the time and analyzes everything with a fine tooth comb. Yeah. So Laura's genius plan <laughs> is to lie about an event, to lie that her friends are going to be at her birthday. That it's a you know a more of a social gathering with multiple people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When she then herself posts photos <laughs> of the event. <laughs> On Facebook, or maybe if it's not herself, her friends are tagging her in the photos that they're taking. Yeah. Whatever, it doesn't matter. She knows this is going to happen. She knows this, yeah. and she knows that Marina is going to see them on Facebook. This is the dumbest excuse I have ever seen. Like, and do you know what the, do you know what gets me is that there's a obvious excuse here. It's not even like a big house party oh, or something. Yeah. Like that. It's a dinner party where it's at a restaurant. They clearly reserved a table for a certain number of people. It's an easy yeah. excuse. 
Yeah, I was thinking, like, you could say something like that. You could say, uh, oh, my boyfriend threw me a surprise party. I didn't realize I thought it was just going to be us or, you know, or even just be like, oh, it's kind of just for, you know, a a couple of uh, my close friends, which, you know, probably would have been harder for her to take. But, again, there's definitely other stuff yet that you could have said. I just, like, I have no problem with lying to get out of something in general. Like, you know, people do it. It's fine. But this is so obviously something that she's going to get caught for. Yeah. And she gets caught so quickly, like, during the actual birthday, that Marina actually goes and <laughs> watches the party, like, from the outside. Because the, the restaurant's got, like, a big window, and you see her outside, like, stalking and watching, like, she's Edward from Twilight. It's just... Oh, God, it's insane. Uh, yeah. So the next day, Marina, you know, confronts Laura about this, and Marina's like... Why didn't you tell me your party? You lied to me. I thought we were friends, and you know it's going complete crazy. And she grabs her, and you know Laura pulls away, not really doing anything wrong. Laura's just like, okay, you're acting crazy now. Like, get away from yeah. me. And we, fit, you know, they mentioned that she pulls out like you know various bits of hair, you know, when she's sitting around. But her, her hoodie falls down, and like the back of her head is like just like missing, like she's a bit giant. <laughs> it's the sort of thing where yeah, if you're a forty year old man, sure, yeah. <laughs> but you, you're a girl who's in college, so this this is clearly a bit weird. Especially yeah. when it's self-inflicted, you know. Um, so, you know, that's it's that. It's like, you know, it's supposed to be like a big kind of like embarrassing yeah. event. Like everyone going like, oh, hey, oh. Yeah. And then, you know, our friends come over, blah, blah, blah. And we basically get back to present day at this point. And they go to the, yeah. the class and the lecturer uh, announces the death of a student. And if anyone knows her, the, uh, he also mentions that it was recorded and the video was posted online. Here's another problem I had with this. Now, sure, we know that there's supernatural elements at play. Sure. Mm. But did no no one even questions, no one even brings up the fact who posted the video right. and stopped the recording if yeah. she commits suicide on camera? Like, I, <laughs> like, who gets this video and posts it? Yeah. You know? Guy in the I car no outside. Uh, but, uh, like, I, I don't... <laughs> I I have no idea, and then the other problems are even, oh, well, even like the um, I don't know if it was police or FBI or whoever. I think it was the police, yeah. Police that they, they're just like some of the worst cops. Oh, they are terrible, especially the the because a black guy and a white guy, and the white guy is like this really bad comic relief. Although he has one funny, there's one funny moment later on with them that I did like. I did like it was probably the the best time I had the entire movie was a moment with them uh, near the end, but they. They, like, when they came in, right, because uh, yeah. this video, like, posts itself on Laura's timeline as if she posted it, and Laura's like, no, I didn't post this. I didn't. I tried deleting uh-huh. it. And the problem I had here is that this is so easy to prove. Yes. Pull, pull out pull like, out your laptop, Try do it in front this... of them, try and delete it, and try and delete your account, because that's the other thing they try and do, is she yeah. and her friends, when the, all this stuff starts going down later and they, they realise they're in danger, they all try to delete their accounts, and the cops keep thinking it's her. <laughs> to the point where, in a scene later on, when they bring it up again, they even say, the one thing going for you, Laura, is that we couldn't trace your address from your IP. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, so you're checking IP addresses? You're actually tracing then- this stuff? And you're not even just seeing if it can happen? Like, she is willing. Yeah. She'll take it out in front of you. I know I keep stopping you from talking to him, but I'm just... Yeah. Oh, just- no, this was... So fr- like I wanted to pull my hair out <laughs> out of frustration <laughs> when I was watching this, and it's not just the cops too. Like the their school is like threatening to like uh, like put her on suspension or something. Yeah, they suspend her for like, the rest of the term. Yeah, and I'm like, is everyone in this world crazy? Like you can so easily show people like, hey. Uh, just give me one second. Here's my laptop. Look, when I press delete, an error comes up. It won't let me do anything. Yeah. Like it's. And it's, like, it's mind boggling. And it's also like these people have never heard of hacking. Like someone's Facebook account yeah. can't be hacked. Like they just yeah. ignore this possibility. And let's get to the other computer things. So one of our friends, uh, Kobe, um, he he's good with computers apparently. So she goes to him and she can't delete the stuff on the, the computer and she can't delete the account. She goes to him and asks him to look into it. So he brings up the, the code, you know, the, the computer code from the website. And it's all multicolored, and it's like changing and turning into this weird alien like language or whatever, or some ancient language. I, I don't know what it was, symbols of some kind. And he's like, "You don't know how crazy this is, do you?" 
and he, and then he shows her like regular code, and I'm like, oh, right, it's still a Facebook page. Yeah, <laughs> like it's still Facebook. Are you telling me the entirety of like it? Just it feels so hollow. It feels so. It'd be one thing if it was her personal website and you're doing this like, oh, this is what this is not what code's supposed to look like. Which in and of itself is just kind of like this week, you know? Yeah. Um, but this is really stupid and and also yeah, it, it's. I'm just gonna say like also like the idea that. I, like I, I know not everyone's like super into computers, but I'm pretty sure most people, even even the girly girls, right, to mm-hmm. go with the logic that this movie seems to have, you know, someone who's like about twenty, which is about our age, would recognize that code that is morphing into weird <laughs> symbols is not, you know, not what code's supposed to look like. Yeah, and it, it was like. Did the, I mean, again, obviously they're the worst, the cops and stuff. But did like no one else like try to if they're already like looking at IP addresses or trying to find out where the videos been posted or whatever. Like, did they not try looking at, um, I don't know, like something to do with their like Facebook page or something? It's, yeah. I, I don't know, it's so stupid. Yeah, none none of, none of it adds up. None of it yeah. makes sense. And we start speeding through stuff. And then, of course, all of our friends start dying one by one. All, mm. cl- all the close friends who were at the, the dinner, the birthday dinner, start yeah. dying. And that's another big problem is that, like I said earlier, there's no rules to any of this. They just basically... Mm. Like, they basically start imagining things and eventually kill themselves in a weird way. But yeah. it it just it doesn't have the impact that you want it to. Especially since, yeah. at first, it, it, the first guy who dies, they portray it as if he... He walks out of his like his dorm room and walks down mm. the hall, and all of a sudden he's in this creepy version of a dorm room. It's almost like in a Silent Hill video game where the it's went to Nightmare World. Yeah, you know, it just oh, things just happen. And then there's like all these uh, these like bees or wasps, which I feel like is usually like an indicator of a bad movie. Like I can't think of too many good movies that have like people getting attacked by bees. Uh, it just seems like such like a bad movie thing yeah yeah well that and the 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 crappy backstory about it being an orphan and being at the the mm-hmm. orphanage and hurting two boys and it felt like they'd just taken some of the backstory of the ring and just morphed it a little bit and it it felt very ringish even to the point where you had like um a you know the yeah yeah a mirror and then you have like all these like kind of like little context clues they have to research like uh oh, the wasps and actually, the, like morphed faces that reminds me. Oh yeah, the morph face. That's a good point. The person who was about to die would get a morph face on social media. But no, the thing that bothered me most about the research because I've complained about this before, where I hate how so many horror movies just have this like research montage to get across like oh, so yeah. much exposition. This movie yeah. was even worse for that because there was still that scene when they're researching more stuff. But the mm-hmm. first bit of research they do, which is about the 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 wasps like following witches and like protecting mm-hmm. them. Yeah. You don't even see that. <laughs> Literally all that happens for that research is the character in a bit of dialogue says, oh, and by the way, I did this research. Did you know? And just s- says it. It's just in yeah. the, It's just in there. That's the first bit of like mythology about what she might be or what might be going on yeah. is brought up. Is in a bit of dialogue where they say, oh, I was researching this and I found this. Yeah. I, I, I completely forget too, was there even like a logical explanation for why he figured out that it was like a witch thing uh like i mean i mean they may have had some type of explanation for it but i can't even think of it at I the moment I, I don't know the, the, the movie just kind of so yeah all yeah. our friends are dying and like after the first person <laughs> dies the, the girl the the chubby girl who sees it is immediately like oh mm-hmm. this is all your fault you know it's your fault I'm like how is it her yeah. fault he, and he, you know it's like revolving around her sure but how is that her fault you know like oh no yeah it's definitely not and then not even like you know her friends are starting to get mad at her and like also like you start to see her friend counter go down and like people uh oh and like uh she starts well her facebook profile starts posting the videos of her friends dying as well yeah, and then like yeah, yeah. people are like oh man you're sick like you know this is stupid like delete your account like you're messed up like you know and her friends list is going down and down and down 
Uh, yeah, because I, I care so much about how many friends she has on Facebook. Yeah. Well, <sighs> that's uh, that's what uh, Marina wants because she's gonna make her just as lonely as she is, and you know, and soon she's yeah. gonna get down to which, zero friends as well. Which Kobe somehow realizes, <laughs> and there's a bizarre twist that is not seeded at all and comes out of complete nowhere in the last act, where he decides that if he kills her, then Marina won't want to kill the rest of her friends, including him. Because if she's dead, she because Marina's killing them because she wants her to be lonely. So if she yeah. kills Marina, she then she you know she can't be lonely. So so so, so not only does he try to kill her, he st- actually he stabs her and she mm-hmm. barely reacts to it. She yeah. literally starts running like she hasn't even been stabbed. Yeah, there's blood on her shirt and she, later on she's kind of holding her like wound, but she she reacts so little to being stabbed. It's insane. But not only does she get stabbed, he ends up killing the boyfriend. He yeah. stabs the boyfriend <laughs> through the back of the neck. Yeah. And by the way, I, I mean, you know, God forbid the movie should explain this, but I, I didn't understand if he was supposed to be possessed or something, or if he was just crazy. I I thought he um, just went evil. I don't think it was possession, but maybe I'm um, wrong. And like, also there is a well, like, I, I, kind of the thing I was thinking, like they kind of made him look like he had like bags under his eyes. Yeah, he kind of looked like somewhat like sweaty or something but then i don't know if that's just him losing it or if there's like some other you know force at mm-hmm. work uh also like they kind of set up that like he liked her at the beginning so it, it seemed like there's gonna be like some type of like romance or something between them that never really panned out but yeah some sort of love triangle i i can only <laughs> thank them that the the they were merciful and didn't put us through that at least. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, so the entire last part of the movie, like they, they go out to where her old house burned down and they try and find this mirror and then she finds it in a factory that's near her house and you know. <laughs> also at one point she she's in a taxi. She's phoned a taxi to take her from the this house to oh, the factory yeah. while the guy is still trying to chase her with a knife. And <laughs> the, the taxi driver is like uh, do you not want me to take you to the hospital? And she's like, no, the factory. But yeah, that's not suspect. That's not suspect at all. Oh, this movie was so stupid and yeah. no tension, no atmosphere, uh, no characters. They're all just 2D cardboard cutouts. It's it's ridiculous. Mm. Um, and yeah, at the end of the movie, uh, obviously, Kobe bites the dust and we mm-hmm. find out that... Uh, yeah, uh, Laura is just destined to become like Marina. She, we see her mm. in a college with her hood up as if she's Marina and she looks all depressed mm-hmm. and the popular girls are all kind of ignoring her. Yeah. Um, and then it just cuts to credits like like we care. <laughs> and yeah, and now... Man, I have a lot of questions. Uh, <laughs> well, so first of all, with the ending, I didn't understand, uh, again... Maybe I'm looking at stuff too much, like, uh, but I wasn't sure if she was like kind of possessed by Marina now, or if she was just like, uh, no, like I'm, I'm just like her, like uh, everything's been taken away, so I'm just gonna fall into how she was. Yes. <laughs> I'll just say then, yes. I don't know. I really don't know. And and then like. How did she even know about all this witchcraft stuff and Black Mirror stuff? Because they mentioned before that she was like raised in like a like some type of like coven or something. Like it made it seem like a they, weird cult kind of thing. They did, but at the same time, um, like she like the kids reported like had nightmares about her when she was at the orphanage. You know, the the kids were like scared of her. Um, yeah. That said, like it, it was a fire that like destroyed her house. Like, is it possible her mother committed suicide the same way that she did, and it that's what set fire to the house, and like her evil like transfers over to the new person or something? I don't know. Yeah, and then well, because then if it's like oh, uh, at the end of the movie, Laura becomes like Marina, then is that you know are we kind of assuming that like oh well, someone did something to Marina to make her that way you know what i mean like is this some type of cycle or something that's going on and then like it did she have like some type of powers or something because they have that video of that pregnant lady with all the symbols over her was that trying to say that like her parents 
gave birth to her and were involved in the occult or yeah, well, something. I mean, that, that stands to reason with my... Our mother was a witch and tried to... Yeah, okay. You know, like... So, it, it seems like it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, someone's writing or putting this kind of stuff in because they're like... They think like, oh, this is makes sense and will be deep and give it like a cool backstory or something when really it's just like well no you're just kind of making it convoluted and just you know you're not bothering to like give reasonings for things you're just trying to you know make something look cool <laughs> yeah well yeah i mean they give reason for some stuff but the, the reason mm -hmm. also has to be interesting it can't just be yeah here's stock backstory element number five mm -hmm. yeah. yeah if um I'll I'll give it like two kind of small compliments. Oh gosh, um, here we go. <laughs> well, I do I did think the idea of um uh, Black Mare uh sounded interesting. Um like I don't know if that's a real thing, but um <laughs> I forgot to do it, but I'll probably do it la uh, later tonight though, but like I was like, oh, I, I kind of want to look that up to see if a Black Mirror is like a real thing cuz I, I just sounded kind of interesting to me. Um, so I will give them that. And then, uh, I do like the idea of like, um, uh, some type of ghost or demon or, or whatever, um, kind of separating you from this world. Like when that, uh, like when one of those friends dies and they show like security footage of her, she's like running through the hospital all scared and she thinks she's by herself. But then you see in the security footage, like, oh no, she's there she just can't see anyone i was like oh that's kind of interesting like you know um although, although that does beg the question why isn't anyone in the hospital stopping the crazy girl who's right clearly you know yeah like it, it definitely wasn't handled well but i do think like yeah the the idea of like you know you think you're safe uh, around people but then they're able to kind of take that away from you uh was kind of cool but it, it it like was not handled well at all here i uh <laughs> I, I don't have anything positive to say really about it. Uh, well, I'll give it the, the the standard compliments that I can give a movie like this. Um, on a technical level, uh, the audio was recorded very well. There was no uh, hiss or uh, any you know flubs in that area. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm stretching. All right, let's get to some ratings here, Timmy, because I I'm I'm not, I think I'm done talking about this one. Okay. Uh, um, on you go. What, what, what are you giving this? Uh, well, another thing I, I will say, just real quick too, is um, and it's also one of those things that it's that's a shame, you know, because sometimes bad movies can be enjoyable uh, to watch, but it doesn't. It's not like so outrageous or you know, there's so crazy things like you know, on a troll two or birdemic level that it really makes you laugh out loud. Uh, unfortunately, it's just one of those bad movies that's bad. Um, other than those two tiny compliments uh, I gave it, I can't really think of anything positive to say here. So, uh, like you said, it, it, uh, there was it, it was technically, you know, recorded, uh, <laughs> and don't, there don't was sound and stuff to it. Don't mistake that for me saying it's, it was well directed because it was not. Oh no, um, no, 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 no! It was just. Not at all. Um, but at least, like when characters yeah. talked, you knew who was talking, and it. <laughs> You know, like the the camera wasn't pointed at a tree or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Oh my I'll god. Give it a... the, the bar. The bar is so low here. This is <laughs> this is insane. Oh god. I get it. This. I. I mean, I could be crazy. This might be too high, but I was thinking like two point five, and even that, I don't know. Uh, now you're you're in the you're in the ballpark for me. I, I'm going to give it a two. Yeah. Uh. It would be a one uh, again if you know if there was more technical faults or if it was more. I don't know. Some movies just get me angry enough to give them a one. Whereas this got yeah. me kind of angry, but mostly I was just bored and annoyed. And just... at least it wasn't like ruining something you love. Like it's not like like if this was like the new Halloween movie or something. Like, oh, you know, like. Uh... At least it's not hurting any other franchises, or there wasn't an actor or something in it that you like. So at, at the very least, you can kind of say that it stands on its own and doesn't damage anything else. Yeah, bring on unfriended to unfriend harder. 
and we'll <laughs> uh, we'll talk about the future of social media based horror movies. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, uh, and that, no, another what, thing you said too, like early on with the uh, when they talk about internet addiction in their class, like I don't know if they were trying like to make a point with this movie, but if they were, that <laughs> severely failed. Yeah, it, fa- it failed miserably. Um, mm. No, nah, we had one pretty good movie sort of with this kind of idea and that was enough mm. it really was this was not this was terrible so that yeah. is a, a friend request and <laughs> yeah happy october <laughs> happy october yeah some of the movies will actually be good though i, I, I oh, think yeah, yeah. yeah i'm sure they will be <laughs> i have no doubt so yeah thanks very much for watching we'll be having more horror movie reviews throughout this month i'll be having it every week anyway but we're having like three a week during, during october so you know, hope you're enjoying all the extra episodes. Thanks very much for watching. Get us on Twitter at mailed underscore fuzz. Check out all the other stuff we do. Remember, me and Tim do weekly reviews of the old Tales from the Crypt episodes over on the Mailed Fuzz TV channel under our Streams After Midnight TV sort of sort of spin off. And uh, yeah, thanks very much, guys. Keep watching scary movies. Can you tell I want to stop talking about this movie? I really do. We'll see you next time, guys. Don't accept friend requests in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>